uh, um, a, a, a frequency that is bad for us? Yes, and you said the exact precise words. You hit the nail on the head when you said shut off. It's like you shut off a radio signal, you turn off the switch, and you no longer hear the music. Humanity has been shut off from the divine frequencies because essentially the electromagnetic vibrations that are being used are in dissonance. They're not in harmony with nature. Mm. Nature, for example, the entire botanical world uh, is mostly green because it's vibrating to 528 hertz frequency of love again. Again, that's the center of the electromagnetic color spectrum, 528 mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. It's the center of the sound spectrum. It's the heart of both sound and light spectrums. It's the only number that that is the case. Mm. It's the heart chakra, green color, the, the yellowish green color in oriental medicine. It's our heart vibration. And, of course, beyond that, we now have mathematics, uh, mathematical proofs from world's leading geniuses like Victor Showell, who does the pyramid sacred geometry and cosmology, mathematical equations, and finds that the real constants for pi and phi are intimately connected to 528 hertz frequency. Well, gee whiz, if you sh shut off the radio and you're no longer listening to the channel, and or if you take, let's say you're listening to channel 528, and you adjust it like the music today has all been readjusted to 440 hertz frequency instead of 528, mm. or its equivalent, which is actually 444. Well, gee whiz, if you're listening to radio, and you turn that station from, let's say, 99.6 to 99.7, you hear static. You lose the music. Yeah. And that's exactly what it has happened to shut our brains down and shut our heart minds down and shut us off from the spiritual blessing of the indigo children that unvaccinated, brilliant children are now coming forth. Look at, for example, the child progeny, world-famous artist Akiana, mm -hmm. brilliantly connected to the Creator. Her whole life's mission is to bring people back to God through showing what can happen if you simply tune in to that divine blessing. And so this is what we're all capable of doing. Do you know what uh, what Akiana specifically is tapping into there? Then why why do you, do you know if she's actually have stayed away from vac vaccinations? Is that the cause for why she uh, maybe then can access another uh, uh, frequency that that we are unable to do? Yes, I'm I'm very friendly with Akiana's family and uh, her parents. They have not vaccinated any of their children. They have. Uh, uh, a baby now, but they have two older boys. Neither, neither of them have been vaccinated, and Akiana has a little brother who is completely brilliant. If a non-vaccinated child is actually like a, a living Buddha. He, he speaks as a seven-year-old in poetry, and he has the wisdom of Solomon. You listen to him, and you, you're in his presence, and you feel, and you see God being literally communicated through this beautiful, smiling child. And this is the capability for every child and everyone. And so the question becomes, okay, if you know this, what are you going to do about it? Mm. Are you going to wake up? Wake up to the realization that, you know, the folks that are poisoning the planet and intoxicating humanity are not uh, friendly. They're not people who you can trust. The, the challenge that Akiana is facing is in her mission to bring people to God is that people have now false gods. They've got the God of science, the God of medicine. The medical deities dictate what pills you should pop. And that's instead of this miraculous faith healing that we now know certainly what causes it. We have all the answers. We now know precisely that it is an energy or a Holy Spirit that moves, that does all the healing, because it does that in nature. And then the, in the religious sense, in the religious world, you might have heard of this phrase, nothing missing, nothing broken in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, if you bring that frequency vibration back to earth in your own Holy Spirit-filled temple, guess what? Disease totally gets blasted out. It just leaves your body. 
because mm. everything physical is coming out of the spirit first. It's energy. And just like we showed you in the most advanced research in genetic science, it's electrogenetics. The missing field that's been suppressed, which is only independent investigators have been publishing in very reputable peer-reviewed journals, saying DNA's primary function is not simply to produce proteins to build new body parts. Sure, it's a template, but that's about 3% of its function. Yeah. 94% of its function deals with sound and light signaling. Micro packets, photons and phonons of sound and light literally get transmitted not so much from the DNA itself, but through the water, the living water, that the DNA is swimming and spiraling, spinning in a matrix of water that is God. It's part of the triune God. It has consciousness, as uh, Dr. Emoto's work showed us. Yeah. It has intelligence. It responds to prayer. It will get, connect with you and give you personally a message. This is all miraculous science now that's being uh, brought forward. And of course, there are critics, but these people are idiots who, who, stand, who literally take a stand in the face of massive amount of accumulating evidence that shows that water is a pyramid that is a superconductor, a liquid crystal, and in the Bible, in the beginning there was the Creator, there was the water, even before the word Holy Spirit was mentioned, you had the water. Yeah. So before there was the Trinity in history, you had the triune God. It was the Creator, the source of masterful intelligence, you had the water, the vehicle by which that masterful intelligence would be communicating and extending itself, and then you had the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that is the frequency resonance energy within the water, and water now has been determined by NASA scientists to exist, of course, throughout the universe. We're in water right now, Henrik. Yeah. We're underwater right now, but we can't see it just like you can't see steam that comes off a, of a teapot that's cooking. It disappears in the air, but it's still there. Yeah. And, and this is what's, what has been suppressed, and yet this is wherein humanity's salvation lies. You know, most of the water we tend to drink these days, um, the majority of us anyway, is, is crap, you know. Is there any good way that you recommend to, to clean the water? Is this a spiritual thing? Can you, uh, you know, uh, can you do a prayer, a meditation over the water that you're supposed to drink, or is there any kind of... Uh, mechanism or even frequency involved here? Yes. There, I, I, we could spend an hour just talking about water. Uh, the fact that, yes, you can change the structure of the water and even the water purity with prayer and heartfelt, loving intent. I'm going to come back to that in a second because it's so important. Mm -hmm. Heartfelt, loving intent. But the heartfelt, loving intent of the concert for the living water coming up this coming summer solstice, We'll have millions of people worldwide blending and lending their heartfelt, loving intention to create lasting peace on earth, world health, and universal prosperity through blessing and anointing the living water. All the oceans would be, will be vibrating when we sing together and chant together on Sunday, June 21st, 2009. And the schedule is online at liveh2o.org. We're going to lend our voices and, in essence, our heartfelt, loving intention to bring about these wonderful blessings is going to be placed into all the oceans, rivers, streams, and lakes worldwide. The liquid crystal conductor will receive what's, in essence, a marriage between humanity's heart and the universal solvent, water, mm. using the universal language, music, to produce the universal healer, love. And so the, we're going to create the waters of the earth, which are already vibrating, of course, like nature does in 528 hertz frequency. Now humanity is raising up with a spiritual renaissance and an accelerated consciousness now. More and more divine synchronicities are happening in our own lives where prayers are being manifested and miracles are happening virtually every minute now in many of our lives. And so you begin to now marry that to the water. 
and you send the prayer and energy to bless the water. And what you're going to create is a homeopathic, a virtual uh, love potion throughout all the oceans and rivers. And that's going to vibrate. And because your body is mostly water, 80% well hydrated, that means not only is God in you, but also when the big masses of ocean water start to vibrate and resonate with this human element of the frequency added as in fulfilling all of the prophecies, both Judeo-Christian as well as Native and Aboriginal, every single prophet has said a day will come where a new song shall be sung and we're going to have a massive transformation spirit on this planet. This is what the, the event that we're preparing for. Hmm. What's going to happen is as that body water, massive amounts of water on Earth start to vibrate with love, human beings, even those who have, are closed-hearted, are going to feel a shift inside of them. Some it's, some it's going to be very subtle. Others are going to feel it massively. And when that happens, it's going to set the stage for what all the prophets said that we're, we're going into. Everyone wants what's called the Messianic Age. The New Agers call it the New World, you know, the New Age, uh, where paradigm shift occurs. You know, the New World Order, not so much from the geopolitical and the financial and multinational corporation New World Order. We're, we're talking about the Creator's New World Order. Mm. and where we have peace on earth lasting. But this issue, I want to come back to it now. Mm. The prayer, the intent, the heartfelt, loving intention to create is the masterful creator within our own hearts that manifests miraculously our realities. This is the greatest lesson that has ever been now proven by science. Historically, this is a historic time. We are in the end times, mm. where we're told all the greatest, greatest truths shall be known. Well, if the truth shall set you free, the greatest secreted truths have the capacity to emancipate you completely. And that's what we're now advancing with this concept, proven by science, that the Creator's heartfelt, loving intention in prayer and verb, word, to create, like, let there be light, let there be love, let there be a sun, let there be a universe, let us live in peace. That is a heartfelt, loving intention that's carried electromagnetically through frequency 528. And our knowledge now has the capacity to literally say, we can change this world, and we shall change this world. We're prophesied to change this world for the better, to bring on the blessings, because we have certainly known and have been fed up with the curses. That was very, very, very interesting. Do you, do you think that, um, you know, do, do we need to dismantle some of the, you know, human constructions that is going on? Again, if we go back to this kind of more uh, compared to what you described here, the more, a more, more mundane level of, you know, what we built, you know, with cell phones, with Wi-Fi, all this stuff that is kind of... Uh, uh, you know, in, interfering with with um, the the natural frequencies. Do you think that all that has to be you know taken down or or, or removed or destroyed even, uh, or, or is this something that still can be in unison, uh, the uh, you know in harmony, so to speak, with uh, what you're trying to do in regards to the raising of the frequency of the water? There's two ways to look at that question and answer it. One is to certainly have a movement back to nature, back to the essential values, back to sustainable living, ecological concerns, and, and basically honoring the Aina, the earth, the mother earth that feeds us, and the water that sustains us, and the sun that it empowers us. All of the honoring of what the physical nature is, uh, is essentially very simple. You know, uh, people, I'm very familiar with friends of ours who live in Hawaii in screen houses. Now, sure, it's an environment that's far friendlier, and it's easier to grow things. Food is popping out of the trees in Hawaii, yeah. but, you know, than per, for example, than Sweden. But the reality is that anywhere today, we now know that you can construct uh, these beautiful,